There are four slightly hidden functions that each param offers. They are extremely handy. They save you time from a lot of manual labor work, because using them help you avoid human mistakes. Especially working on a 50-hour piece, you get tired, your senses go numb. That's when regretful mistakes happen. Learn to rely on these four functions. That's how you submit a high-polished, complex life-duty work. Right-click on a param. Notice that there is a drop-down menu on the far right. The four buttons there are Select, Reflect, Adjust, and Change. We will go through them in this episode. Select is for auto-selecting all the objects on canvas that has key active keyforms on this parameter. How is this useful? For beginners, not a lot of usage that would come to mind. But as you gain experience, you would see more and more creative ways to abuse this function to solve problems. For example, this is easy to tell if you accidentally register a keyform on an object that isn't supposed to be related. Or for example, when you're about to finish the head for angle XY, you feel like the head should be higher above when it turns upward. You may manually select all the objects that you remember that it has angle Y. But for getting one, you would have a bad time. Use the select function instead. Then tap your arrow key to move the whole head. Quick and safe. Reflect is fairly literal. It reflects all the keyforms on this param for objects that you have selected. If you don't select anything, nothing would be affected. If you select one or more, then the selected ones would be affected. How is this useful? What if you're done with the model already, and you realize that your eyebrow form is reversed in face rig, such that in face rig, when you raise your eyebrow in front of the camera, your model frowns. It appears that face rate consider positive maximum is upward arc and negative minimum is downward arc. But you did the opposite, so the model does the opposite. So now, simply use the select function on brow r form parameter, which would select all the correct objects for you, and then you hit reflect and then you're done. Adjust is a great tool for manipulating keyforms on a parameter. It is not usual a beginner would find this need for the need for this, but for pros, this tool offers a lot of creative tricks. This tool allows you to change the keyforms value for the selected objects. In this chart you're seeing, the left column are the param values of the current keyforms. The right side is for you to set a new value for any one of them, or multiple ones of them. The only thing to keep in mind is that you cannot press OK if any two keyforms have the same value. So say that we have I open param, where 0 is closed, and 1 is the default open eyes. Now, by character design, we decide that this default state of the eyes it's actually just the half open state, which sensibly, it should be a keyform on 0.5 instead of 1. We can select all the eye open objects, then use adjust to change the 1.0s to 0.5s. This will leave our param missing a keyform for 1.0. Simply add a keyform back in and work from there. Another example usage is that sometimes our application that uses this model has a linear traveling speed on the parameter. When it travels from the minimum to the maximum value on a param, the pace maintains the same. But what happens if we have a middle keyform? However, visually the state of the middle keyform is not exactly in the middle. 
say like elbow rotation between negative 30 and 30, zero is more closer to 30 than the state in negative 30. Then your animation that swings the arm from negative 30 to 30, the arm would first move slowly and suddenly swings forcefully. It would look like the application lagged, but it is really only doing what you instructed it to do. Take a look. 30 to 0 on the param is a 5 degree rotation, and 0 to negative 30 is a 30 degree swing, which means on the right half of the param, every 6 units is 1 degree arm rotation, passing the midpoint to the left half, every 1 unit is 1 degree, which is 6 times faster. So. If your application, let it be face rake or just just your own animation in uh, animator, using this model to do an arm rotation from negative 30 to 30 on the parameter, the motion though would be funky and inconsistent. So pay attention to keyform distribution on the parameter and don't thoughtlessly create unnecessary keyforms. Change is simple. It basically allows you to change the selected param for the selected items to any other params with the keyforms copied over. But be careful with this process. Remember that our params don't all have the same min-max value. So if the original param has a min-max of negative 30 and 30, changing to one that has a min-max of negative 1 and 1, then some of the keys will be out of range of the new params bound. You may only see the midpoint showing on a param after you change it. You wonder why with one keyform, things are still moving slightly. Well, that is because negative 30 and 30 keyforms still exist and they are in effect. It's just that they are beyond the boundary and so they don't show up in your parameter. In an opposite case, if the original one has a smaller boundary than the new one that has a wider boundary, then you see three keyforms cluster up in the middle. To fix either occurrence, use the adjust function. You can first use the select function to select all the objects on this param, and then use adjust to change the min-max value that are either beyond the boundary or clustered in the middle to the actual new min-max value. And after doing that, you are done. That's all for this video. I hope you guys benefit from utilizing these four functions.